batch number 76 today, Misty Mango. We'll be brewing. Uh, strike water's on slowly with electric. Uh, I'm using a little electric thing today because it's going to be hot out just to get the strike water ready. I'm running strike water or uh, sparge water here on another electric burner. And we have a uh, blood orange in this uh, fermenter ready to go to keg very shortly. But on with the brew. Uh, Misty Mango. It'll be uh, done with uh, our favorite. Uh, I feel like a commercial here. Vintners Harvest Mango Puree. We used all our purees in our beers and, and lots of our wines that we make here at the vineyard. How you doing, why wouldn't I? So on with the brew, number 76. <laughs> and in we go with the dough in of the Misty Mango. bottom nicely. I, I, you know, virtually I don't even have to stir it. You pour it in slowly. This looks like one of those times I'm not going to have to stir at all. stir here and get a reading on the temperature gauge is covered in flour. I like to use two gauges to get more of an accurate reading and that's what we're doing again today. One fifty-eight. This one's so dirty. One fifty-eight. That's right where I want to be too. One fifty-eight. Both are saying one fifty-eight. That's a that's an eyeball for me. I had to pick up on that. It's hard to. I might if I zoom in. I just pull it out of the work so it dropped a little bit. Is that one fifty-eight? That's exactly where we want to be. So we're going to get these gauges out of here. Get my spoon out of here. I got to get some water. Get the lid on here. And we're going to mash this for a one hour. hour. Mash is up on the misty mango. Nice and clear in there. We're about to uh, do it a burl off. Ah, which is nothing more than opening the pitcher and running some liquid back into the mash tun for clarity. She looks pretty clear right there. Yeah, she's uh, coming off really nice. I always use that net there anyway over here, just to catch any uh, fine particulates if they happen to make it through. But I run this to settle the uh, settle the grain bed. Take my spoon and use it as a diverter, and I'll divert it all over the freaking floor, more than likely, just so it don't uh, disturb the base of the grain bed too much and stir it up. Uh, she's running pretty clear already. I'm, I'm going to say like one pitcher. I very seldom go more than one. This is the misty mango. It's meant to be a little on the cloudy side anyway. Once it ferments with the purees. Oh, I forgot to get my water bottle. Yeah, I didn't see one piece of grain come out of that. Not one. I'm going off to the boil kettle right now. 
just like downtown. Get this hot back up on the buying here coming down. Not gonna be able to film it, but I'll show the camera up here. And a couple twists. Keep her going down the line here nicely. Ah. This one over here, same thing. Got to twist it up a little, put it on the line. You're growing nice. Get some water in there shortly. These are the Cascade hops. Ah. Up the ladder. Down the ladder. They're doing pretty good over... Uh, whew. Now the one on the left, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 50, about 18 feet long so far as they come across the wires. This is the best growing one here, a little update. That one over there is doing pretty good. Our uh, sample here, pre-boiled sample. Ah, a little higher than we were last time, very good, very good. Not by much. We come in at, uh, come on, focus, 10, 40, come on, 50, 49, and 49, 10, 49, 1.049, let's write that down, let's write that down. We got a sheet here. Yeah, last time we came in at uh, 1046 pre boil. 1.049. That's today's date. Even know today's date. Doesn't matter. So, yeah, 1049 pre boil. Not too bad. That's the mango, brew number 76. Two ounces of Cascade hops, pellet hops. Hot break has almost been achieved here. Waiting for the proteins to roll on down. And they're just about ready to go. Sometimes I don't even wait for it. Sometimes I do this. <laughs> how, you know, how you doing? Ain't nobody got time for that. But you gotta watch again, cause here she comes. Almost shut the flame right off. It's actually still lit. Almost roll it right over. Eh, give it another second or two to adjust. Stand by the trottle down there. And the little red knob is my trottle. <laughs> That's just a regulator. So yeah, two ounces of Cascade hops. <laughs> You roll that over here with the let the proteins drop out. I'm putting it in. That's in. And you gotta watch it for a second or two to make sure it don't uh, act as a cover. And do the same thing all over again. I'll turn up the boil a little bit in a few minutes. Once I see I have it under control, you can see I only have like a, a inch head space there. Yeah, I brewed a long time, but uh, you still gotta watch that. That'll come right over. We're going to burn off almost two inches here yet. It's nice and hot out here in the shop. I got the air conditioning on because I'm just a wuss. Get hot here. And my sanitizer and my fermenter. That's all set up over there. Mash ton is emptying out here. I got to drain that and clean that out, but I might save that for later on. So for now, let's just let these two ounces of the Cascade hops do their thing. And I gotta go set a timer. So 30 minutes from now will be my next edition is an ounce of Mosaic. Three minutes in on the Misty Mango. Uh, gets one ounce of uh, Mosaic hops. One ounce of Mosaic hops. Next edition is the Citra in 15 minutes. In 30 minutes will be flame out. Citra or uh, Citra is the last edition. 
So we'll be back to you when uh, it's time to add uh, Irish moss, citra hops, and yeast nutrients. And then off to the, off to the fermenter we go. 15 minutes of the boil on the man uh, misty mango. One ounce of citra hops are in. Cap full of Irish moss are in. And a spoonful of uh, yeast nutrient are in. So 15 minutes to flame out. And I got the work chiller hooked up and I got the hose ready to turn on and uh, we'll be good to go. I'll uh, look at my raspberry raptured beer. I poured it a little aggressively. I wasn't looking there as I grabbed the pack of yeast out of the freezer. Uh, six minutes to flame out on the uh, uh, Misty Mango. But I got to get a taste on this one because I've been hiding it and saving it. She's definitely fully carved right now, but uh, the color's not going to show too well in here. And she's red and in a dirty glass, too. How's that? <laughs> oh, man. Very raspberry. I like to put the puree in primary, and she finishes nice. You, you still get the taste of the raspberry, like the, I'm doing with this uh, this mango. In primary, you'll still taste the mango. This is a little sweet for me. Mm. I forgot what this finished at. I'm gonna put the work chiller in. It's been sitting in the sanitizer. But I'll let it sterilize in the boil too for a second or two maybe. If it don't boil over on me. Alright. <clears throat> Here's empty the uh, sanitizer out of the bucket. One more with the wand here. So I was moving the spoon before I drop that. Valve is closed. Oh, we sure hope so. Transfer on its way. And I'm going to go shut off the work chiller. Blah. All right, work chiller's off. Got the pack of yeast here. Ready to Here's the last little bit of our wort coming out of the kettle here. Gonna shut off any second. There she goes. So I'm gonna take the work chiller out, set it in my kettle here. And now we want our uh, puree, and it's been sanitized here. Gonna open that. Both ends. I got the puree and off to the pour. Try not to spill it, but I'm trying to make little air bubbles with it. But I never shake mine up or add air to it ever. I see guys use pumps and stuff. I think you're more of a adding an infection if you're using a an air pump like a compressor pump. You're better off using an oxygen tank, but it gets a little expensive doing that. So we made that far. Now, oh, we're bending over, getting our sanitized scissors and our yeast package. USO5, why wouldn't it be? Why wouldn't it be? So the yeast is off to it. Now she's in. And take my cover, put that on, <clears throat> find my airlock again, there's the airlock with sanitizer in it. She's in place, and this brew is done. Misty Mango, all done. I'll set this off to the brewing corner because we got the air conditioning on out here. And man, we needed it. 
Hello, how you doing? And we needed it. You get a batch of beer going like that with all that humidity. That gets pretty brutal. And it gets hot, 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 and humid. So, that one's done. All but the cleanup. <laughs>